Piano Annie here to show you how to find any blues scale on the piano. There are 12 different keys on the piano that repeat up and down the keyboard and each one has a blues scale. So if you get tired of just playing in the C blues scale, you can master other blues scales to your heart's content. So first, you should learn what is a half step. Well, a half step is, for example, take the D. If I go a half step up the keyboard, I find the note that is very closest to the D, and it's this one. So that's a half step away. If I were to go a half step down, it would be this one. So this one is D sharp, that's D flat, but the main point is that they are half step away from each other. If I wanted to take a whole step, I would just take two half steps. So D, half, and then a half. So the D and the E are a whole step apart from each other. Let's look at a weird little case. Here's the E. If I want to go half a step up, well, there's no black key in between these two white keys. So a half step up puts me here on the F. And if I want to go a whole step up, from the E, it's right here, okay? From this F sharp down to this F, that's a half step. From this C sharp down to this note, that's a whole step because I took a half step down and another half step down. So that's how whole steps and half steps work. Every major scale on the piano follows the same pattern, and that is you start with your root note, then you take two whole steps and a half step. Then you take three whole steps and a half step. So let's do it on C, a scale that you already know. Here's my C. I have to take a whole step then another whole step, then a half step. Well, that puts me here. Then three whole steps. One, two, three, and then a half step to finish it off between the seven and the eight, which is the root note again, because there's a C octave, okay? Let's pick another note. Let's pick G and find its major scale. So what's the formula? It's two whole steps and a half step three whole steps and a half step. So here we go, here's the G. Take a whole step, another whole step, a half step, whole, whole, whole. One, two, okay, this one, I have to go up there to get this whole step. And then we end it with the final half step up to the root note again. So the G major scale is G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, G. Okay, so you can choose any note, follow that same pattern, and you'll find the major scale. So how does that get you to a blues scale? Well, every blues scale consists of the one, the flat three, the four and the five, the flat five, and the flat seven. And that's it, it's just those six notes. So as you know, for C, you've got C, this is the third note, well, this is the flat three. So those are the first two notes of the blues scale. Then you find your four and your five notes, they're both in the blues scale. Find the note in between them, that one's also in the blues scale. So now you have five of the six notes. The one, the flat three, the four, the five, the flat five, and then the last one will be the flat seven. So to get to the flat seven, you find that last note in the scale, which was just half a step away from the root note up top, and you flat it, boom, so that's your flat seven. But you already know that for the, blue, the C blue scale. So let's find the G blue scale. So here's your G, okay? Where's the third note? Right here. Flat it to get a flat three. There it is. Where's the four and the five of the G scale? Right here. Where's the note between them? Right here. So all three of those are in the G blue scale. So we have G, flat three, four, flat five, five. Then there should be one more note. Well, what was the second to last note, the seventh note of the blue scale? It was this F sharp up here. 
because it's right next to the G, remember? Well, we need to flat it. So here is your flat seven. It's a white note. So the G blues scale is G, B flat, then our little village in the middle, C, D flat, D, and then F. If you've watched my Hey Look At Me Now lesson where we go down the bottom five notes of the C blues scale like this, you can do the same thing in the G blues scale. So I'm just going down those bottom five notes of the G blues scale. The C and the G are pretty similar in their shapes. Then they differ right here. So we go to a black note for the C blues scale, flat seven, and we go to a white note for the flat seven in the G blues scale. Okay, well, what if you wanted to play the standard left hand with your G blues scale? Well, just find the one, the four, and the five. So that's G, C, and D, which are all in the blues scale, as you know. And use those as your bass notes down here to do your fifth interval and your sixth interval. So it would be like this. Here's my G. I would count up five, one, two, three, four, five to get a fifth interval. And then count up six to get a sixth interval. And then I just do the usual pattern. When I'm done with that, with my four bars in G, where would I go then? Well, I would move my pinky to the fourth note and find a fifth interval and a sixth interval. That actually looks familiar, doesn't it? Because that's the same one that we use in the C blues scale as our first position. All right, so we've got G, and then we went up to C for two bars, then we would go back to the G for two bars, and then we would go up to the fifth position, which is D, and we would use a fifth interval and a sixth interval. So it's nice because they all end up being white keys again, which makes it a little easier for you to remember. This would be my one bar in the five position, then I would do one bar in the four position, and then I would finish off my 12 bar blues by returning to the G position. If you're not familiar with 12 bar blues, I have a video on it. It just follows a certain pattern, but you will use some bars in G, some bars in C, some in D. All right, so just for one more example, let's pick um, a D. Okay, so let's find a D major scale. All right, so here's our root note. Let's do a whole step, whole step, half step. Whole step, whole step, whole step, half step. So the D major scale ended up with an F sharp and a C sharp, okay? So let's find its blues scale. Well, we know where the one is and we know where the three is. Let's find the flat three. There it is. Okay, what was the um, fourth note? It was right here. Who was the fifth note? This guy. What's the note in between them? This guy. Okay, so so far we have for our blues scale. One, flat three. Four, flat five, five. And then let's find the seventh note of the scale. Well, it was this one, remember? Because here's the D that ends the scale. So this was the seven. Well, this is the flat seven. So we ended up with this as our blues scale. You could learn that scale, do everything that I've taught you to do for the C blues scale, and become really proficient at the D blues scale if you wanted to. And what would your left hand look like? Well, you would find the one, the four, and the five. Okay, and just do the uh, the same thing. This would be your fifth, two fifth intervals, two sixth intervals. Then you would move up to the four position. And 
and then back to the one, and then you would go to the the five. Now the only thing weird would be when you go up to the five position. This is your fifth interval, okay? And then your your sixth interval will be there because you're working down here with the the major fifth and sixth. Anyway, you'll be able to hear that eventually that you need a a whole step between the fifth interval and the sixth interval. And so when you got up here, this was the fifth. If you'd gone to here, that was only a half step. And it wouldn't have sounded very good. So. Okay, so you get the idea. You know what a half step is, what a whole step is. You know how to find a major scale. And then from there, you can derive a blues scale. And just so you know, there's one other scale, if I just want it to be somewhere in your knowledge database, that is almost the blues scale, which is the C, E, for C, by the way. So for C, E flat, then you take the, the F and the G and the B flat. And that is actually called the minor pentatonic. I have a quick lesson on major pentatonic if you want to see it. But there is this scale called the minor pentatonic, which is the one, the flat three, the four, the five, and the flat seven of any major scale. You can do the same pattern. And that basically becomes the blues scale without the flat five. That's the only one it leaves out. Okay? But just so you know, that's pretty much where the blue scale is derived from, is from this minor pentatonic. But you don't necessarily have to know that in order to just learn your blue scale and have some fun with it. Okay, I'll see you next time.